Okay, so what we have here today, so we have a 2004 Saturn Ion, and the uh, story with this car is that the, the lady that I bought it from, her husband, I guess, decided to be a mechanic or whatnot, and he uh, decided to change out the timing belt. And when he did that, something didn't go back together right, and it did run after that, uh, but then the timing belt skipped, and the valves got bent. At least that's the story that I was told. Uh, she did have her uncle, who was a mechanic, kind of check it out. Um, he put a compression tester on it, checked all the cylinders, uh, and had zero compression on all cylinders. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the valve cover off first and just kind of uh, try to assess the valve train, if there's any damage to the valve train, and if it looks like there's, if it's possible, then I will probably put a compression tester on there too and check compression as well. But if there's some broken parts uh, in the valve train, then I'm probably not gonna do that. So I picked this up for, $250 and uh, the body is a real real straight there's no dents or scratches and something I've never worked on a Saturn before but something that uh, was interesting to me is that the battery I don't know if you can see the battery the battery is in the trunk Right, here's the battery right here in the trunk so I didn't even know about that I've never seen that before and here in my my shop my wife calls it a tent but it's uh, it's my shop so we'll Probably the first step though is to get a vacuum in here and vacuum up all these leaves and kind of do a little bit of top end cleaning. Do a little bit of top end cleaning. And... Okay, so here we go. We've got it all kind of cleaned up a little bit on the top end, vacuumed it. All the leaves, kind of sprayed some brake line cleaner over the uh, valve cover yeah so I think the first thing I didn't say this uh, earlier but the first thing I did was disconnect the battery which is what you always want to do whenever you work on anything and uh, looks like that was a piece there it's broken broken I noticed there's a I noticed there's a this is all loose I don't know if you can see that bolt wiggling a little bit yeah that bolt is loose there's uh, be interesting to see what else I find here I'm going to go ahead and take the air cleaner housing off and take the valve cover off. Okay, so I pulled the valve cover off and I pulled this fuel line off and I just because it was laying right right over here 
and came around like this, so I pulled that off to give myself some room to, uh, to pull the valve cover off. And I was worried about these little rocker rollers here that uh, go between the lobes on the cam and the, the valves. But I inspected all of those and it doesn't seem like there's any damage uh, to any of those and everything looks pretty good in here. And I have the piston at top dead center right now. I don't know if you can see. There's a little mark right there on the engine block. And there's a corresponding notch on the inside of the pulley. So I have that lined up. I got the screwdriver in here. That's the top of the cylinder, or the piston right there. Uh, when I was pulling the valve cover off, I discovered there was a lot of loose bolts. Um, it didn't seem like they were torqued at all. It seemed like every bolt was a different tightness. And I discovered that there's a broken bolt right there for this uh, timing chain guide. So I'll drill that out and get a new bolt for that. Um, it's probably not necessary, but what kind of a mechanic would I be if I just left that? So I have to deal with that. I'm still planning on pulling the head off. Um, So I'm getting ready to pull the harmonic balancer pulley off and I went ahead and took the alternator off and the motor mount and everything on this side of the engine. And I'm not sure what's behind that plate there, but I guess I'll find out when I pull the timing cover off. Uh -huh. 